solar power is booming around the world despite the fact that solar panels are not terribly efficient. Most only convert about 10 to 15 percent of the sun's rays into usable and storable energy. But scientists are working to improve that, taking their inspiration from nature. CCTV's Jessica Stone explains. Sun and water. They are the engines of energy for all green plants through a process known as photosynthesis using sunlight to split water molecules, releasing electricity. Dr. K.V. Lakshmi at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute's Center for Solar Energy is leading a team of 14 scientists working to unlock the secret of how. This is the holy grail. This is the holy grail. And this catalyst actually evolved in nature. It's a natural catalyst. It's evolved in nature, and this is what this catalyst does. It binds two molecules of water. It uses four photons of light, and it splits the water to electrons and protons. This is what you want to make. That's what we want to make. The goal is to develop the solar panel of the future, one that uses sun and water to create electricity and gets as high as 40 percent efficiency. Solar panels like these are lucky to get 10 or 15 percent. Right now, solar panels are made of silicon, which is an element in limited supply around the world. But Dr. Lakshmi's research is looking to make these kind of solar panels out of chemicals found in the environment. It's completely sustainable. It all starts in the grow room. But what we're trying to do by growing these up is we get these cells, we break the cells open, we isolate the proteins, purify them, and study what these mechanisms are. And, and especially the protein that splits water. The protein or catalyst works in four steps. In seven years, Lakshmi's team has discovered two of those steps. They're currently working on the third. That fourth step is what releases the energy. Exactly, and, and that's what we need to figure out. That's going to be the hardest part. Yes. How long do you think it might take you to unlock that secret? Well, hopefully, I mean, if, if you ask me just um, for an estimate, I'd, I'd say, you know, I'd put it within five years or so. But the team isn't waiting to unlock step four before designing a prototype solar panel. It's already experimenting with man-made molecules which duplicate photosynthesis. You take the, 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 uh, the molecules and you put them on films like this. So this is like a modern-day solar cell. This is yes. as close as you've come. Yes. And this is creating artificial photosynthesis, that little disc right, right there. So it's using, it's using um, sunlight to split uh, water. And the efficiencies are upwards of, of, of uh, 25 to 30 percent right now. So even with this little prototype, you've already tripled the efficiency that's out there on the market today. Yes. Yes. Now we just have to get it to market. Exactly. Dr. Lakshmi says once the team has discovered and can recreate the process, it should take just two years for a next generation solar panel to land on store shelves. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Albany, New York.